the correct answer here. All right, so let's move on to the next question. Uh, specialization, specialization and trade are closely linked to blank. So generally speaking, like I would think that this would be uh, a multiple choice answer, but uh, it's not entirely impossible for this to be a fill in the blank. Um, specialization and trade are both very closely discussed when we talk about the production possibilities frontier and specifically about the idea of comparative advantage. And so comparative advantages, if we think back to our, our two good model, is basically saying which country can produce our two goods, uh, sorry, not two goods, can produce one good at a lower opportunity cost than another country can. And so again, you assume there's only two countries and there's only two goods. So which country is, uh, does it, can it produce a good with less costs? And so if a country has a comparative advantage in producing good X, then uh, and that mean, that would uh, d definitely mean that the other country has a comparative advantage in producing the other good, which is good Y, um, then each country should specialize and produce only the good that they have a comparative advantage in and then trade in order to um, get the optimal basket of goods for both those countries in order to reach a consumption bundle that is outside the PPF. Um, so, uh, you know, both of these things are, are close linked to this idea of comparative advantage. So let's take a look at the previous tutor's answers. Um, so the previous tutor says the benefit of computer comparative advantage, uh, which is great. And they said, uh, in an economic model, the countries that benefit from a comparative advantage have a comparatively low level of opportunity cost over others in the production of a particular product. This benefit increases the level of economic efficiency and the potential output of an economy. Uh, for instance, most oil producing nations have a lower level of opportunity cost in producing chemicals over others. The level of specialization in the available resources are the two main factors that can easily influence the economic efficiency of a country of an economy. The benefits of a comparative advantage show the least amount of losses and the ability of a country to produce specific goods and services. So, um, Right, and so I think the uh, I think the explanation that this tutor gives is really good, but it focuses more so on it seems to attribute all the benefits of comparative advantage to specialization, without bringing in the key component of trade. Because if each country were to just specialize, but not but trade was bar bar there's a barrier to trade, then it would actually not be in the interest of the country to do that. Because even though they could produce the good that they're producing at a lower opportunity cost. Most countries want a balance or a bundle that incorporates both goods. And if they specialize in one, then they can't get the other good without trade. And so we're going to add in a little bit of uh, definition here about trade. So we're going to say trade, uh, it's important to also keep in mind that specialization and trade go hand in hand. Uh, countries should specialize in the production of goods in which they enjoy a comparative advantage, but must trade in order to exceed their domestic potential output and achieve the uh, consumption bundle that would favor uh, that would be the most economically efficient okay and so other than that if we include that definition and incorporate this idea of trade that this is a great answer and so we have no really other um, major issues with the way that this was written